Welcome to Satisfactory. If you don't know what this game is, this is all about building up a factory for an unknown reason, for an unknown kind of, I want to say almost entity. I don't know if we're like, I don't, we don't know if we're slaves or what the deal is. But uh, we're going to be building up a pretty amazing factory, I hope. Uh, there's three different bi biomes, as I said. we got grass field, rocky deserts, and northern forests. We're going to try the rocky desert. This might be a little bit tougher for biomass, but eventually once we get to like uh, coal production, then we should be fine. But um, we're going to let the intro run. So if you've seen the introductory video that I did recently, you will have already seen this little, uh, this part. But I'd like for everybody to be on the same page. So we're going to do it anyways. Yeah, there should be a full narrative when the game Attention is actually pioneer. released within the next year. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. My, my initial reaction to something like this is always like, oh, we're... We're probably in a simulation of some sort. Like, this isn't, we're not even really dropping here. This is all just being simulated for us for some reason. I could be totally wrong. Probably am. That's terrifying, IRL, yeah. This whole idea is terrifying. I'm a bit low. Yeah, the game gets really loud in this section. Let me know how that is. Efficiency first. Godspeed. Makes you think what we live in, right? I like the idea that we live in like a snow globe on somebody's desk. Makes me Welcome feel pretty good Planet about life. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star yes. system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. Very different you from the are first bio. Your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. <laughs> Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note. Fix it incorporated as cost-effective and efficient. We do not waste. So, uh, we've been through this tutorial uh, a couple of times now. So I did the introductory video and then the early access streams and uh, We have a pretty good handle on what she's gonna say. I'll try to let it I'll try not to talk over as much as possible, but it's inevitably gonna happen just because it's pretty samey obviously Let's take this bad boy down Second objective Please ensure you I like how flat it is. Yeah, this is a cool area zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. 
Uh, I'm definitely feeling the lack of the biomass, but to be fair, there's like big forest behind us. So. yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note the acquisition of. And there's something over here, actually. Essential in preparation for all future objectives. Uh, before we scan, we actually have a. Uh, maybe this is a piece from a previous drop or something. I don't want to get too lost and just going all over the place, but... Is that palm trees? Uh, it's some... It's probably some version of palm trees. <laughs> I don't know if they're actual palm trees. Oh, we're gonna have to fight this guy. I'm gonna grab a bunch of leaves Initial and stuff. Scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Oh, I got two of them. Further analysis required. I got two of them. Look at this. So this is probably a drop pod that just didn't make it. Oh, what is this? Industrial beams? We didn't find anything like this until like the very end of the uh, the, the alpha weekend. Creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. Oh, there's like random materials. Analysis. That's a nice boost. That is a nice boost. Needs 21 rotors. Okay, let's see if he just runs off. What else do we have here? So we're gonna have to remember to come back here when we have 21 rotors to open this up and see what's inside. But I love the idea that we just pick up these random little uh, boosts. There's not a lot that we can do with them this early, but... Okay, this dude is very upset. We gotta be careful here. Okay, okay. It's not the end of the world. We're gonna be, we're gonna be just fine. Let's start scanning. Hey, zombie, welcome, buddy. Ooh, that's interesting. The only ping that we got. Okay, we have a couple of pings, but they're very far. Let's go to the closest one to see what's up. Blocking the health hut a little bit. Let me let me fix that right up for you. Let me fix that right up. Okay. We'll grab as much as we can on the way. We have to hope this is a decent node, too, because I don't know if this is going to be, uh, like, what type of node we have. We can have normal nodes, we can have impure nodes, which is what we started with in the, um, in the Alpha Weekend. And we can have pure nodes, and that factors into how fast we actually pull the material. Yikes. These things are going to be a problem. I have no way of dealing with them. The nice thing about this is, yeah, there might be limited biomass, but by the same token, it looks like there's a lot more wood than we would normally get. These things are just gonna... This is gonna be a lot of damage for us. <laughs> Whoo! Looks like there might be another one there, too. Of course, it's like right on our node. Do I have anything that I can heal with right now? Nope. We might die. We might die. And if we do, that's okay. Oh! It could happen! What I could try and do is maybe find some, uh, some food, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. I got one hit left. This might regen a bit. But I guess with less biomass... Oh, here, 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 here. Barrel nuts. This, this is good. Possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Right, right off the bat, that would have been fun. How many of you thought I was going down right there? Not gonna lie, I thought I was going down too. So, don't even feel bad. Okay, this is normal ore. 
Uh, this stuff's always pure at the top, but this is normal, which isn't bad. We could check to see... No, we might not have a bet. We might have a much better option, honestly. We don't have any pings in the vicinity. Unless we go like 900 meters to the north. Hey, Alora, welcome. Do you guys want to check one more? I think I may, might check one more place. And it looks like we have two right next to each other in the north. So I'm going to check this and hopefully not die. We'll try and avoid those plants altogether. But if we have two nodes side by side, even if they're... I mean, as long as they're normal, that would be great. Look at all this stuff, man. This looks so different. I love it. This is amazing. Totally different spawn. Yeah, well, we're in a totally different biome. And I think you can spawn into different places within the biomes and then um, figure out where, like, the good drops are. Because these aren't randomly generated, there will be spots that are just, like, naturally better. We just got to find them. Let's check this out and hopefully not die. That's the plan. We came real close. If we see barrel nuts, we're going to be all over those. Here we go. Boom. You wrote a poem for this game? Refine, automate, collect the stuff. Ingots from iron, smooth from rough. Hold on. I think we have a dog here. I, apparently, I'm petting him. Lizard doggo. Oh, that's cute. Very cute. Look at this. We didn't see much water at all in our uh, in the previous biome either. That's nice to see. <laughs> all over those nuts. You gotta be. Gotta be all over those nuts. Luckless, what's up, man? You're watching the Google Gaming thing? What is it? Uh, what's the big deal? Is there a deal? Like, is there... Uh, are they doing anything interesting with that? You can tame the doggos? Cool. Alright. Hopefully this is worth the, uh, the jaunt over here. We're pinging two things right in front of us. Looks very promising. So what are they doing? Is it... Oh, hello. That's that's scary. That's scary. That is scary. That's pretty scary. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, check this out. We got two right beside each other. We just have to see. Worth it. Big time worth it. <clears throat> I remember when I used to say that's what she said a whole heckin' lot back when I first streamed Half-Life 1 and 2? Yeah, man, I go through, like, these phases where, like, I'm sure everybody's like that. You have, like, a thing that you just kind of default to saying. I don't know why. Fourth objective. Build the hub. Note. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Yeah, this is really is nice. Spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. We have two pure ones right here. That's beautiful. It was risky getting over here. Uh, it was risky getting over here, but we made it. Hey, what's up, Phrases? What's up, dude? How's it going? Okay, so... We can't... Oh, look at this guy. He's just following us. Maybe I'll put my weapon away. I don't know if that is a thing. He just runs. Well, we'll find him later. I like that we have some, sort of, some form of, like, protection behind us. Not that that's really important. But I'm guessing we probably want to build, like, way out this way. I'm just going to take down a bunch of these so we can get an idea of what we're looking at. Eventually, we'll chop these trees down. I think the one thing to take away from uh, 
the alpha weekend is that it's nice to kind of keep things super spread out and not bundle everything together so much. It might take more resources over time, but I think it's worth it. See, like, this little desert area in the middle, I think this is where we, where we do our main stuff. I could even build our hub off to this side, and then we could funnel everything over to this middle section that's open. You know? Use the nuts on the dog? Yeah, maybe. Come here. He's scared of me, but he's... He's definitely interested. Every time I press E on him, he runs away, though. So... These nuts... Are for me. Alright, let's plant it. I think we do it over here. This is fine for now. Our, our first little uh, starting objectives are just going to try to get things done. We're just going to try to get resources going. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, manual craft bench, hub feature, hub terminal, fifth objective, hub upgrade, storage and power. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are Maybe the red berries. Yeah, could be. to the next objective. Okay, so we'll select this milestone. It's very basic. We'll get this up right away. Okay, let's break some of these down. Do I have to make the sounds every time I do it? Feed the dog lava mosquitoes. Even I wouldn't eat those. If you drop a nut on the ground, he'll eat it. Okay, cool. That's nice. We'll try that out. I'm out of nuts because I've eaten them all. But it looks like he wants a friend, so he'll probably hang around a little bit, you know? Please make the sound. We'll make it sometimes. Okay, we only need 10 of these. So let's whip up 10 of them and unlock a few things. Got it. New email received. Well, that's new. Okay. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. Hub feature, gotcha. personal storage. These are all things Standard she's already told feature, us. Copper. New equipment, buildings, and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench, respectively. So one of the changes that they made, Sixth they made some change or introduced these steel industrial Note, beams. Connect buildings to a generator for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and using use all locally sourced herbs. Yeah, absolutely. Results. Okay, so we're gonna need to whip up a couple of uh, little doodads here. Um, where's copper? Hopefully, we have some in the area. Ooh, not bad. That's not terrible. We do need an equipment workshop here. We're gonna need plates for this. So let's knock some of these out. <clears throat> hey, survivalist, welcome, buddy. Lubricant is essential. I do have some, uh... I do have some hidden alerts using old Subnautica stuff. Believe it or not. Okay, I'm gonna have to go hammer out some extra stuff here. Uh, Empress of Chaos, Pork Choppy, Quicksilver Mike, and Crash the Zombie. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. Did we just make a sub, baby? <laughs> yes, we have. Yes, we have. I actually really love this area. This is a very beautiful zone to play in. Look at this, man. Are the mining nodes endless? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Is the 420 alert still up? Yeah, it is. Or maybe I shouldn't have told you, hey? Is that what you're telling me? We'll go all rods here. And uh, we actually have a bunch of the cables, so we're okay for right now. Okay, let's do an equipment workshop. I don't mind having it back here. 
This is fine. Yeah, that looks that looks good. That looks good. Okay, so what do we need for these portal miners? Um, let's add this to our list. I need some cables, which we can pretty easily whip up. Use some of our existing wire. And I'll make a couple of these. I know we can put them on the same node, uh, but something about that bothers me. Same thing as like if we build platforms and we have nothing underneath. I don't know, it just seems weird to me. I'm just going to put one on each here. Nope. Go for that. One thing I'd like to see them do is um, maybe make it so that not everything in this chunk is pure. Like, the chunk has some variation too, so like maybe it's mostly pure or whatever. But I guess when you put on the, uh, the big uh, minor Mark 1s, then that's going to change that up a little bit, you know? Uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to build some smelters out in this area, I think. Uh, we have more than enough to build them. Let's actually um, put it in the hotbar so we just have it. Let me just see. If we go over this hill eventually, which we will do, it might get a little bit messy in there. But I think that's okay. I think it's okay for now. As I said, we're just going to get everything up and running and then... Um, and then we'll do, like, a refinement base at some point. Uh, being that these are both pure, I think they probably require their own smelters. Let's see if we can at least line these ones up. Oh, we didn't get to work a lot with... Um, actually, these might even have to go out a bit more because those miners are pretty big. Once we build them. Look, our little buddy's here. I hope he just follows us around the entire time. Let me build this out a bit. Do it here. And we'll do one here. Okay. We're going to name the doggo. Yeah, if we can tame them. If we can tame them, I will. Oh, look how fast the pure goes. That's insane. That's insane. Oh, I'm pumped. Hey, Phaser, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Uh, casual Black Gamer and Claudia Powella. Thank you so much for the subs. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Tink, 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 tink. Yeah, we don't want to be sitting here doing that, do we? No. Let's upgrade this. Let's upgrade this section, and then we'll just uh, power those things and let her rip. Uh, this is good. This is very nice because we don't have to go put anything down at the, uh, at the copper. That'll probably be the next thing that we do, but normally we'd have to go and, uh, mine that for a bit before we could get the wire going. Because we found this at that crash site, it's pretty cool. Wait until you get an overclocked miner on there? Oh, dude, don't, don't get me too excited. Like, I can only handle so much. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanner stone. New buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Seventh objective. Okay. Hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing oh, I need stone now. parts, of which only one type at a time. Okay, so we need to see if we get lucky and have any stone nearby. The copper is like, eh. Oh, I'm hearing pings. That is not bad. That is not bad. Okay. Here's the plan. Let's grab a couple of portal miners. We're going to go run out to a, a stone deposit. And we'll go and run out to a... Um, that copper deposit as well. What am I short on? Well, I'm short on copper and I'm short on cables. So, we'll start by heading out to the copper place. I could even... 
I could probably just remove one of these for right now. They fill up so fast. Hey, Eradication God! <laughs> What's up, buddy? How are you, dude? I think I'm going to take this miner. Okay, let's find the copper and go to it. 182 meters that way. That's not that's not bad. My theory is that you're carry you're a criminal carrying out your community service sentence in the future. I like that idea. That'd be cool. Uh, we should get that little zapper going. I kind of feel like oh, every time I think about it, I kind of feel like we need a little barrel nut emote. And then when we see those, you guys could just spam them so I don't miss it. Whoa! I do not want to tangle with this guy too much. He rotates so quick! Oh, yikes. Don't hit me! Don't hit me. I'll try to save one of these for the little uh, lizard. But if things get tense... So it seems like the theme is that these guys are guarding all of these nodes, which is uh, just fantastic news. Oh, did I... Oh, I got him! Easy. Ah, right here. So this is... Im okay. So this one's not as good. So our copper production might be a bit slow, but I think it's okay. Iron is like the most important thing. Are you saying you want to make us nut odd? Miro, you're the only one that would think that, okay? And yes, also. Also yes. Look at this thing. Hello there. Oh, I don't have enough space. What could I drop? Well, I'm going to drop a miner, so... Let's do that. Oh, you get so turned around in here. There it is. All right, so this is going to fill relatively slowly. Um, I may want to just grab some extra. At least maybe get a full stack so that when we go back, we don't have to come as soon back to this area. So I shouldn't give sub, right? That would lessen my chances of winning the graphics card. <laughs> it's up to you, buddy. Totally up to you. Hubs and I were watching a playthrough this last night and agreed the three hits when mining by hand is so catchy. I feel you. I feel like it goes really well with, like, the music as well. You know? Alright. So we've got a full stack there. Um, I'm gonna ditch... this cable for now so I can pick up that slug. And I'm pretty sure that these are used for either power or overclocking or something later on. But look at this area that we found too, like a little beach. Hello. This semi-slug seems to emit weak potential energy from its crystalline shell. Look at Further this. Further analysis of crystals required to determine application. We could build like some cool stuff out there, man. And maybe into the great beyond. We could eventually build, like, platforms out there if we wanted to. That'd be cool. Um, okay. We're gonna have to make some biomass. I'm gonna ditch these cables as well, just for extra space. 
Do you have to be present on March 3rd, 23rd to win? Sorry if this has already been said. Uh, no, you don't have to be present. No. If you can't make it, it's okay. Alright. Um, I think we're going to head back to our main area. Uh, do some of the upgrades. And then we'll go out to the sand deposit that we saw. Or the limestone deposit ping that we found. Oh, we actually have one. Okay. Okay. I'm a bit concerned about these flying little doodads here. That's a bit concerning for me. I'm gonna maybe... Hmm. Let's just... Let's just do it. <clears throat> really excited to see me play Sekiro. I had a little marketing, but five times a game Anthem is. Well, it's a totally different game, too. I'm excited for it, too. Uh, some people have, um, have the game already. Okay, I do not like these at all. We have such an inefficient way of trying to fight them. They're just better in every way. What the? What the hell? Now, I have no idea where we fell to, but this could be a huge problem if we don't have a good way to get back up. Helen Mal Reaper, thank you so much. Thanks for the 10 months. That's incredible. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't think I have a good way up there, and I feel like I don't have a great way up this way either, but... Ooh! She's tight. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I think what I might do... There's another plant there that's gonna kill us. God, look how good this looks! Woo! Not today. Yeah, see, there's another one still that I have to defeat. Which means I'm not going to have nuts for my friend. That's okay, though. Let's go. I just gotta keep them in front of us somehow. They're quick. Look at this. I don't, also don't want to fall. Okay. Finally. Okay, so this is pure. Oh, guys. Besides the copper, everything else is coming up just... Everything else coming up here. Is the Deathless run still going? <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It was close a couple times there, but... Yeah, we're, we're, we still haven't died. This one seems to last a really long time. Uh... Okay. Hey, is this like Subnautica? There's definitely some Subnautica vibes, yes. Um, the narrative and stuff isn't quite in there yet, but that will come with time. Okay, we've got two pure iron. We got one pure um, sandstone. I mean, what else could you ask for, really? You could ask for a pure copper, because that copper that we have is kind of bunk. Not deathless for the simple creatures of the world that Odd is destroying. I mean, you got that right. All right, so let's. Uh, we're gonna get our our power up and running here. I need to whip up some cables. Uh, I guess I'll make some space. Here, let's do this. 
And then we're going to get those smelters up and going and start rocking. <laughs> when does the Lorax show up? Soon. I'd like to see there be some type of uh, pollution aspect. Because once you get your factories going, you do see like clouds and clouds of smoke, which is pretty cool. Pretty terrible for the environment, but pretty cool to see. Okay, I also need to make more space here. Let's, um, here. I'm gonna get rid of the leaves as well. And we can get rid of the carapace and the organs. Alright. Okay. So let's dump these in. Oh, I actually need a whole bunch of plates for that, so that's going to be a minute. Power-wise, power pulls on two. And I guess I'll just make the connection point super simple here. So we'll connect both of these up to this one. And we'll try and keep it so that uh, for every two buildings we have, we have a power pull next to them. We'll see, we'll see how that goes for us. Should be all right. Okay, now let's whip up some biomass. <laughs> it's not... What's up, dude? How are you, man? Thank you so much. He says this game looks like dog shit. Uh, for those that don't know, Snut is uh, one of the programmers on the game. <laughs> so you're right. It does look like dog shit. But, um, you know, you made it, so who's to blame? Anyone see Desert Dexter or did it leave? I don't, yeah, I don't know where he went, to be honest with you. We'll find him. As long as we have uh, food here, he'll be here. Okay, now, I'm going to dump off all of these, uh, ingredients start whipping up some plates here i might just do both of these as um ingots for now so that we can just make plates a little bit faster uh what do we need for what do we need for constructors okay so reinforced iron plates which i guess i'm gonna have to make up myself that's fine by me. All the devs are watching you right now in the conference room. No pressure. Or I don't feel any pressure ever. Except when all the devs are watching me in the conference room. That's that's literally the only time. So that's great. That's great news. Okay. Let's uh, whip up a bunch of these because we're going to need screws. I need three of these plates. So what am I short on? I'm short on uh, iron plates. You're watching me only in a bathrobe, no pressure. That actually takes the pressure off. It's the same idea. Uh, you know how when you're growing up and everyone's like, when you're when you're talking in front of like a large group, just imagine that everybody's naked. To be fair, uh, that doesn't work. It makes things a little bit more awkward. But when you're streaming and people are uh, naked watching you, it's just significantly better way better. I'm going to whip up uh, some extra cables here as well. And... Hmm. Let's maybe just make enough to get at least a couple of constructors going here. Remind me that I have 500 leaves in my personal storage box, okay? At some point, just remind me. Doesn't even have to be contextual, just tell me that they're there. <laughs> We're all naked under our clothes. That's not the same. You've got to be brave, bravely naked. Alright, let's motor. 500 leaves in storage. Thanks for the reminder. That's good. I did ask for that, so fair. Um, 
You know what? I think I'm even going to give a little bit more space between these. As I said, we're just going to get the basics up and going. And then at some point, we will uh, we'll work on, like, probably a separate base almost. Let's see if I can line these up where I'm not underneath it. It's weird. Does not want to play nice. I'm not getting the snap to the one that I want, I don't think. Oh, there we go. I also want it to snap to the one on the left, but... This is close enough. Okay, let's power pull these. Oh, I'm missing iron rods. Made too many screws. Classic. Classic. You live on the ground floor, so after showering, you just run to get dressed out of sheer fear. <laughs> we have these uh, open windows in our house, too. And uh, I'm pretty sure every once in a while, the we have, like, uh, a small, like, there's, like, three businesses across the street. I'm pretty sure that their customers get a glimpse every once in a while. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. So if we can keep the grid, like, I mean, it's going to get messy no matter what you do with wires, but we'll try and keep it as clean as possible. So we keep that extra connection open. This can power both of these. I don't know if our current power supply can necessary, necessarily handle this, but, um, yeah. Did I not put any ore in these when I came to turn them on before? No. Why would I have done that? Why would I have done that? I need plates going right now. Uh, I'll probably do this on both. But we need to wait for these to kind of do some work for us. So I'll do some manual hand labor here while we're waiting. Let's do some uh, biomass. Do we have any extra leaves, guys? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> you have 500 leaves in storage. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. My memory is bad, but I got that one on point. Let's just keep these bad boys filled. I'll go and empty uh, this one. Oh, this is such a nice start. All of this pure iron and stuff. Super cool. Maybe some leaves in my storage. Oh, they're cleared now. Okay. Ingots. Ingots. And we'll go plates here as well. Oh, did I not grab them from here? No. Okay. So while those plates are happening, I will hammer out the rest of the copper stuff that we have. Um, I'm not going to have, like, the power requirements yet to build another... Um, another constructor or another smelter because I think they are actually you know what I might be able to build one I think we have 20 watts when we start 20 megawatts and I think these are each four the uh, miners I believe are five so I could yeah so I could technically build uh, one more smelter if I wanted I could build another smelter How far away are these, roughly? Uh, we kind of have the power poles, like, through this section. So if I build it over on this side, then it would be on the outer part if we build another, um... If we build another machine. That's fine. 
for now. We'll get this going on uh, copper ingots. Okay. Can you make ice? Hey, good question. I, I have no idea. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, we're at 23 here. The next thing we get is conveyor belts, which is going to make our lives, uh, you know, obviously quite a bit easier. One thing I'd like to know is that at some point in the game, does it make it so that you can pull, you can use your resources from storage? I don't think that that'll ever happen, but it would be kind of nice. Would be kind of nice. <clears throat> if I buy this game, am I not going to play a single hour of it and cry? What do you mean? There's no way you can play this game for one hour. <laughs> you just can't. That's, uh, it's impossible. It's impossible. I'm going to do some of this work while we're waiting. I think the big storage has an output point, doesn't it? Yeah, you can. What I mean is like, um, you know how in certain games, once you have it in your storage, you can just use it to build. You don't have to manually go and fill your inventory. I don't think it has it because you can uh, expand your inventory over time. So I think that's its, uh, its solution, to be honest. Okay, so I think we're pretty close here. Got the plates. We need a couple more iron rods. Oh, we don't even need these. What am I talking about? Uh, we're short on some cables. We've got the concrete. And then we need uh, reinforced plates. So that's not bad. We'll break these down. Go cables. I can make one plate here. And then I can grab some more, and we can uh, fill it up that way. Hoping for space stations and more large projects to get into. I mean, the poss this is this is the cool thing about a game like this, is that the possibilities are actually endless. They really are. Okay, let's drop this in. I'm gonna grab from my, um, from this thing again. This thing fills up just ridiculously fast. I'll take these ingots and I'll just go and make, um, you know what? Let's switch one of these. We're going to switch one of these over to iron rods now. We'll get a couple of those going. <clears throat> Is this a speed run? <laughs> yeah. Can you tell? Can you tell? We're going so, we're so fast. Okay. This is big. This is big. Congratulations. You have unlocked new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Now, uh, we st objective, hub upgrade, additional power. Yeah. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Caution. Overloading the power network guarantees suboptimal performance. Okay. So that is going to be uh, super nice when we, when we get to the next level. That's when I feel like things start to really get going. This thing is just kind of doing its own... Uh, production here because we'll build the wires that we need for right now until we get that additional little uh, power hub. Even the AI speaks like the Subnautica one. Yeah, I, I guess you get pretty limited when you get into like, you know, robot voices or AI voices. They are pretty similar. 
I'll give you that. I'm going to just load this with the additional ingots that I have. So we're going to need 100 plates. That's going to take uh, that's going to take a minute. That's going to take a good while. What I could do is maybe run out and grab our um, limestone and copper. Those will both be full by now. And let those kind of simmer. Let them brew. If I actually win the graphics card, they have to buy a new case and motherboard. Hey, man. That's exciting, though. You know? Hey, Moop, what's up? Thank you so much. Thanks for the 28 months. Thank you so much. That's incredible. Oh, there it is. We're going to have to get beacons down, like, ASAP. Look at this one, too. Pure. Love it. Yeah, I honestly, I can't believe that we freaking won that uh, that giveaway. That's that's nutty. That's insane. Like stuff like that never happens. Um, that was such a cool opportunity. Twenty sixty is worth a new build. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it's on par with like the ten eighties, um, but you can enable ray tracing, albeit not quite as strong as like their upper echelon cards. You know. Look at this. Ugh. So slow. She's fine. Hey, what's up, Johnny D? Never happens to you either. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't... I've never... I don't win stuff. I don't win stuff. So, it was a pretty cool opportunity. I'm glad that... I love the way that they did it, where it's not just, like, um, the person that nominated and the creator, but it's actually... They reward the community as well, which, like... Let's be frank, makes the creator. So, it really, really cool the way they've done it. Okay. Always... Man, when I look in here, I always struggle with seeing the copper versus the iron. Just gotta get good, you know? Now, this is saying the same as the copper. Iron ore, one per second. Um, and the copper was saying one per second, but it's not. The copper is way slower. So... Not sure what that's about. Okay, so we can go and refine the the stone. That's fine. We can refine the, uh, or we can grab the copper ingot to maybe get a full block here. Close. When am I announcing the winners? It's going to be on uh, Saturday. Maybe is the max speed of the machine? Yeah, could be. Could be. Those, those machines are temporary anyways, because we just turned them into the, um... Uh, we turned them into the Mark I miners, so... Okay, we can do biomass of wood now. This is nice. Clear out all the wood that we have. Clear out all the leaves that we have. And... Break these down into wires. And cables. And concrete. Tink, 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 tink. Is this Factor Nautica? Kind of. Like, when I first started playing, I was like, man, this is so much like, uh, like, Subnautica in terms of, like, um, like, the discovery aspects. I love that. And somebody like me who has never played Factorio, you know that it's like Factorio because of, like, the type of game. But that's kind of it, right? But a lot of people say it's 3D Factorio. No Man's Factory. Can you guys come up with any that combine, like, all of those? I feel like you could, if you tried hard enough. Okay, we can go and grab some of the um, iron rods. I don't think we're going to be nearly close enough for the plates yet. Oh, actually, pff, I am a BFL. Do you know what that is? Sub factory man? Come on now. Uh, there it is. This is like almost perfect. 
I need three more of these. Actually, I don't even. We're good. We have exactly what we need. <laughs> big friggin' loser. No, big fat liar. BFL. Big, big friggin' loser is uh, not bad. I'll give you that. Well played. Well played. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Look at this doozy. It's coming together Congratulations. rather nicely. You have unlocked pub feature, additional biomass generator, new buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Okay, so we've effectively doubled our power Help output. Upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks, I appreciate the support. Okay, now. Uh, this upgrade is good. It's not as, like, holy moly, but um, it's fine. This is where we kind of want to start getting our processes down a little bit more. Am I going to play Sekiro Shadows Die twice? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's take a look here. The Mark I Miners. I need a couple of these bad boys. I actually want to build um, one each here. I, I need four eventually. I need four eventually. I can build uh, two straight away with the iron rods and the concrete, and we can replace uh, the Miner Mark I over there. I'm going to need one more of these little portable miners. I think I said I was going to replace the Miner Mark 1, but that's not at all what I meant. What's the goal of this game? Just base building? Or... So, uh, I think that'll come more along with, like, the narrative stuff, eventually. Um, within the next year or so. Right now, it's about just building a badass base and making your stuff as efficient as you possibly can. That's the current objective. But there's also, like, in my opinion... Um, there's a lot of exploring to be done where we haven't even really scratched the surface um, in the alpha weekend we took like an hour at the end to really just go around and see what was out there and we had a vehicle and it was super cool we had a really good time we had a really good time okay so we're not going to have like a direct path here because we put those things down uh, before we were able to line them up. So we'll do something like this. This one's pretty close. We'll do our power pole over on this side. Can you put power poles on a grid? Can you align them? I'm holding left control, but it doesn't look like you can. Okay, we could break uh, from this one, I suppose. I think we'll just go from here. And then eventually if we need to like expand our connection points, we could build them all over in that section. Now these each these each take uh, five megawatts, I believe. Yeah, five. So we have now uh, 10, 10 megawatts to work with. Don't suppose you're heading to San Francisco on Thursday for that tender thing, are you? What tender? What tender thing are we talking about? I have no idea what that is. So, uh, no, <laughs> to answer your question. No, I'm not. I need these plates. Look at this. Oh my God, does that feel good? Look at that. It's just full nonstop. 120 per minute. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, I mean, okay, I think, obviously, at the start, when you drop into any area, I think it is worth 
trying to find um, the pure nodes. I think that makes a big difference. I think that makes a big difference. It's a reveal for probably the new Vampire Masquerade game. What? No. That's cool, though. That's cool. No, I didn't get invited. I'm just a bum. Okay, so... What do we want to do next? I probably should get a miner going for the copper because it produces so little. And we should probably get one for the stone as well. And that's going to be all of our miners that we can possibly handle right now. So it does 30 ore per minute. And it does 30 iron ingots per minute. So that seems like pretty bang on exactly what we need to be like max efficiency. The plates. And do we have storage. Yeah, we do. Okay. So we're going to start... Uh, I'm going to put these, like, way out here. Just to kind of keep some space. Looking good. You know what I would like, actually? You know what would be super cool? Is if there was like a copy command where you're like looking at a building and you could, I don't know, you could hit, you're highlighting it and then you could hit a button for copy instead of um, having to go into your build menu. Obviously, we can hotkey them, but I think that would be cool. Might make things a bit more complex than they need to be, but still cool. There it is. This is such a nice touch, too. Where they put these, like, risers on the end of them when you have to build on a slope. Oh! I love it. This is so satisfying. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Alright, now... These ones... We got two iron coming in, but we got one iron going out. So, what we actually should be doing is we should be splitting here, right? We should either be splitting here or we should be combining to go into one, but you totally meant that pun. I didn't think of it till after I said it, to be fair, but now that I said it, I feel pretty good about it. You know? Um, Kuma, thanks for the prime sub, dude. Info Mills, thanks for the prime sub. Liberty Forever, thanks for the new sub. Uh, Mike, thanks for the Prime sub. Kimosabi, thanks for the eight months. Strange Foxman, thanks for the two months. I appreciate it, guys. And Calmo, thanks for the 16. Thanks for the 16. Thank you so much, guys. Is this No Man's Sky? No, no, no. Not even close. This game's good. Very good.